Why would God allow people to be born if he already knew that they would reject him? So the answer to this may actually be more simple than we realize. If you saw my last video, then you know that in the context of the Bible in general, God's heart is for his family. What God wants above all is to partner with his children on everything he does because he loves us. Just like the example that I gave with my dad letting me make homemade pizza, I wasn't the one that made it at seven years old. He was but he allowed me to participate in order to learn and grow because he loves me. God is the same way. Does that make sense? Because God is outside of time and of course knows the outcome of all things, he already knows who will reject him and who will love him, even though he does not infringe on their free will. Just because someone rejects God doesn't mean he caused it to happen. I wanna make this clear. The enemy is the one who comes in and causes problems and causes people to turn their backs on God. God allowed every single person to be born because he loves them before they were even in their mother's womb. He knew them, he called them, he has a purpose for them for good and not for evil. The problem happens when the enemy enters the picture and then distorts the perfect will of God. Every single one of us have a book written about us in heaven that records God's perfect will for our lives. Of course, none of us will live out everything that's written there, not even close. But God will always give us an opportunity to repent and come back to him. So if we step back far enough, we can come to this conclusion. At some point in the beginning, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and I personally believe the divine counsel also came to an agreement that having a human family in the image and likeness of God was worth it. Remember, Jesus was slain from the foundations of the world. He chose to be sacrificed for us before we were ever created, before we ever sinned. God made the ultimate decision that even though many of his children would reject him, he would still die in their place, taking all the sins of the world on himself as Jesus in the flesh. God wanted to create us as children because just like any father to his son or daughter, he wants to see his children grow and flourish. But just like in our relationships, we would never want to force our kids to love us. We just love them because we love them. That's why free will is so important. So God knows who won't reach heaven one day. But that doesn't mean that he isn't actively pursuing them and witnessing to them through the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe each of us have our own unique opportunities to come back to the Father in order to see the family restored. After all, this is the whole reason why Jesus came to restore right standing with the Father because of the gap that sin caused when it entered the world. If you have rejected God, just know that he has never rejected you.